Championships. Knockout time, race to nine. Now let's meet the players. In fact, let's meet two legends. Two former world champions from the Philippines. Pinaka Mangalin numero uno. It's the magician, Efran Ria. And from the USA, a member of the coveted Hall of Fame and former world champion, it's the scorpion, Johnny These two names came out of the hat when they were looking at the seedings. They couldn't quite believe what had happened. Two greats of the game, head to head. Reyes, well, most people rate him as uh, the greatest player. Johnny Archer, a world champion. He's won everything there is to win in this game. Uh, a Hall of Famer as well. And he's got that steely look about him, hasn't he? Uh, Steve Davis has made his way uh, from the studio into our commentary position next door. Uh, he's joined by uh, Jerry Forsyth. Yes, uh, a different style of match here. And Jerry, obviously, have you been speaking to uh, Johnny Archer at all in, uh, after struggling through? How's he feeling? Well, he's feeling a lot better now. I mean, it, earlier in the week, you felt that nothing was going to go right for him. And then when he started to get a few rolls, you know, sure his opponent started missing off. shots at very critical moments. And he thought, well, just maybe I can get through this thing. And sure enough, he slipped through. And, of course, Reyes has been nine playing rounds. Steady Eddie night. all Evan week Reyes long. When we first saw the World Championship on these shores, uh, Johnny Archer was rated as the number one US player, the one that, that was most likely to be world champion. Uh, it's not that, has he just gone off the boil? Is that would be the case? There's nothing gone wrong with his game. Is, is it just a case of the weight of good players and you can't always win? Well, yeah, plus Johnny was very, very hot in the early and mid 90s. And, and then his game went away a little bit. And he admits this himself. This year, however, he's been the hottest guy in the States. He's had, out of 11 tournaments, he's had nine top 10 finishes. He's won three of them. So he's, you know, he's, he's winning 25% of the tournaments he enters. He just won a tournament last week in Canada. Plus his team won the border battle against Team uh, Canada. So he's, he should be on a roll. Um, right now, Johnny would be probably the favored a uh, U.S. player to win this thing if you had to pick one from the United States. Uh, unfortunately, he's got the biggest hill in the tournament to climb right here. Against the magician, Efren Reyes, a man who just saunters around the table. If he's ever nervous, you'd never know it. Great disposition, a great attitude to life a hero in the Philippines and quite rightly a hero for every nine ball pool player around a great cueist Reyes looks like clearing up to win the first rack left that a bit short on the nine well perhaps a bit of nerves there yeah still, I don't know he's still gonna make the ball I don't know if he has nerves he's the most laid-back man I have ever met in my life right in the heart of the pocket Takes a tough shot and makes it look easy, Steve. And Efren Reyes leads Johnny now one to nothing. Winner breaks. Efren Reyes not renowned for having the hardest break of the top class players. But it's nothing to do with how hard you hit them. It's how accurately you hit them and how consistently you can break off on the table that you're playing on. And it'll be interesting to see if these players can learn the break for this particular table, the signature break for this table, which is so often uh, the, the case where we see a player unfold and win Second in this World round. Championship. Everyone they start to, to realise what type of break is needed go. for this particular match table. Steve, I watched two of Efren's matches yesterday, and he was hitting, them, hitting the break shot harder than I've ever seen him hit before. See, that's, that's really not a bad break. It's... It's not a, a cannonball break, but it's much harder than we've seen Efren strike the uh, break shot in the past. And with this kind of result, can't, you can't complain about his break. I can see there 
how softly he was gripping the cue for how hard a strike he hit. It's similar to perhaps golf. You, know, you don't grip the club tight, otherwise you strangle it. And uh, Efren Reyes gripping the cue very softly, therefore, well, not just that shot, but a break off as well. Very soft grip on the cue. Efren may be teaching us something there because we've always been taught that you do hold the cue very, very gently, like, like holding a child's hand when you make a shot, except on the break shot where you're supposed to grip it very tightly. Maybe Efren's perhaps discovered I, something. Well, perhaps. I just, I just saw the end of that break off when we showed it on the slow-mo there, and it seemed like he didn't really have that much of a grip on the cue. Perhaps we get a chance to see it again um, later on, another break off. We may see how, from the start whether he actually does grip the cue exactly the same way. One of the great things about this is... Um, uh, if you do grip the cue softly, you can take some, some of the nervous tension out of your arm. Well, Efren's taught the world a lot about this game. Maybe we'll learn something new. Only three more balls here, and Efren could take a two to nothing lead over Johnny Archer. You sure don't want to get behind early in a match to Efren Reyes. He's he'd probably be the hardest man in the world to come back on. Well, this match has been going for what seems like 30 seconds now, and Efren Reyes is 2 0 in front. Reyes cementing his second nine ball. And we've got plenty of action around this room today. We're going to go upstairs and watch a match. Here is Holtz. Mark Holt from Luxembourg clinching a fantastic victory against the guy that I lost to last night, Juan Kianko. Well, that's not on the cards. A Filipino going down? I had Kianko favored in that match. Uh, I, I had him favored as a 9-6 as a winner over Holtz, and it just shows you how volatile nine ball can be. Whoever's hot on a given day can take the game home. Track three. Efren Reyes to break, leading by two racks to nil. We'll be showing you some more from upstairs later in the day. Keep you updated, and especially on the match between Petroni and Morris. Still going on upstairs. Well, another super break, planting the cue ball in the middle of the table. It did get bumped around. Let's have a look at that. Uh, if we get, does that look? That's not tight, is it at all? That's not tight. That's I've not never a tight seen a, I've never seen a player. I hold a cue like that on the break shot. I bet I will in the future. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I doubt that he's, he's changed that. It's just that perhaps we've never sort of had the, the ability to watch it in slow motion. Yeah, before. I just never noticed. But you know, he, he might have he may have changed something because his break shot has changed. He really is hitting them harder. Perhaps he's got some lessons from a man who sadly is not here this year. One of the most spectacular breaks, the American Shannon Dalton, who we saw in action last year here. He could break the balls hard. Oh, boy. And, of course, that's why they call him the cannon. Shannon the cannon. And Francisco Bustamente, uh, Efren Reyes' travel partner and uh, partner in crime. He's got, a, he's got a pretty hard break. There's a mistake there from, big mistake from Efren Reyes, really. He's, uh, he's overhit that by enough to cause a few headaches. But he's knowledge around the table, perhaps a three-cushion. Oh, just a one cushion there, slowly playing inside the eight. That was a clever shot. He just never seems to work real hard on the fool table. Well, he made that look a lot easier than it actually was. Well, he's making stringing racks together look awfully easy. Archer has done nothing but warm the chair. You know, we're talking in the studio, uh, Jerry. If you make a bad break and the other guy gets and breaks off and you, he runs nine racks, you know, your one mistake costs you. The way it's gone at the moment, the one mistake that Johnny Arge has made is, is missing the lag. How yeah. ridiculous is that? Yes. Well, we've had two huge changes in the format uh, from yesterday. Uh, obviously, one, we're playing a longer race here so that hopefully strategy can come into play. It's not such a sprint. But strategy, like you say, is no good if you can't get to the table. And whereas it was alternate break where one man breaks and another man breaks, now it's winter break. Efren Reyes back at the table after, after a little bit of a break. Well, that have stopped his momentum. 
Well, that's not the best break he's made. No, that did not look very solid at all. And he's paying the price. Here's the back of his hand on that break you were speaking of. Well, there's no tension at all there at all. Never seen that in a professional pool player before. That's cue ball got quite a nasty kick off the seven there and ended up. Well, this is the most difficult shot Reyes has had to play in the match so far. Oh, and he missed it badly. And when you're going to miss him, it does help if the outcome is that. Just put a bit of unwanted right hand. Well, perhaps not right. Just perhaps just, perhaps just misjudged it. Yeah, you could see him trying to steer that cue ball after he had let it fly. Good thing about that shot, though, is in many ways, because he didn't pot it, he was so far out with it that the cue ball was so far out as well, and it went safe. Right. Nasty position for Johnny Archer to come. This is the first time he's had a shot at the table, and this is a horrible shot. Somehow got to swerve around the five off the back cushion to, to try and get lucky is about all he can hope for. Needs a hit and needs something good to happen. And it almost did, but that's tragic for Johnny. Now he's given the table to Efren Reyes with an easy shot. Here's another look. He had the spin, Steve. Yeah, great effort. And, uh, well, he's worked so hard to get himself back in to this tournament in what looked like being the biggest shock and upset to go out in the first phase. But was it to any avail? Efren Reyes getting the breaks. You and don't want to give this guy breaks. And the tables have been open. I mean, there's not a lot of problems to solve on these tables for Efren. The only one thing he has to watch is this shot right here. When he <coughs> contacts the nine ball, he doesn't want it to roll someplace ugly like up against the eight. Both players masters of tactical play, masters of the kick shot. But in open table play, well, that's... <coughs> Is that okay? Yes, I think so. In open table play, both players can pot the balls, and it's whoever gets going. We saw one route in our first tele televised match. He's overcut it. That's an awful shot from Reyes. He's given Archer an in. He certainly has, and you know, he you could see he, he didn't stay in his form on that shot. He came up and tried to steer the ball immediately. Well, that's the most emotion I've seen about five years of watching Ephraim Reyes on the television, television, the most frustration I've seen, seen him give out. Well, Reyes knows that Johnny Archer is one of the men in the field quite capable of keeping him in his chair for rack after rack after rack. Johnny Archer is not the guy you want to give an opportunity to. He's a bit, he's a bit weak in pace on that, but he would have liked to have been another two or three, well, a couple of feet more at least. But think how big it'll be, Steve. If he can get through this rack, his arm will be oiled up a little bit. He'll be relaxed. He'll be within two games instead of four down. Uh, big, big opportunity for Archer here. Well, he didn't get the name Scorpion for nothing. It wasn't named after the Q. The Q was named after him. That was a difficult shot made very easy. Scorpion's a long time nickname for John. He happens to have been born in the month of October, so his sign is Scorpio. He was stung by a scorpion as a child, and he had a pet, a Scorpion. How quickly this jank game can change if Johnny Archer can put a good break together. Oh, and Johnny doesn't have much problem putting together good breaks. He's one of the big breakers of the game. We're going to go upstairs, Steve.